A family is remembering a local Navy veteran whose life was cut short far too soon. 32 year old 32 year old John Holman was killed in a motorcycle crash yesterday morning in West Allis. CBS 58's Frank Healy talked to his family today and is live with how they're honoring him. Frank. Natalie, this is where it all happened at South 84th and West Lincoln Avenue in West Allis. Police say that the driver of the car ran the red light here and crashed into Holman right near his home. Man, John was outgoing, caring, compassionate about everything and anything he did. He always saw the best in people. Bill Holman, John's father, says his son served nearly 10 years in the Navy, even being deployed on anti-piracy operations. He says John was a dedicated family man. First and foremost is leaving behind his wife and his two beautiful children, both young daughters. As well as his parents and siblings. Bill says John was always the life of the party. He'd always make everybody laugh. That's what he was. Um, he was always joking. And, you know, there were times where he was always serious, too. And it's like he was compassionate, like I said before. He was compassionate in what he believed in. Bill says John got the motorcycle he was riding just last weekend and spent the day with him working on it, the last time Bill got to spend quality time with his son. It wasn't enough. Tomorrow night, starting at around 5.30, people will be gathering to remember John, riding from his home over to the accident site. Then we'll be going down to Humble Park um, by the beer garden where him and his wife were married and for a candlelight vigil. West Dallas police say that they are investigating this situation still. They say that the driver of the car is cooperating and did not seem to be impaired at the time of the crash. Live in West Dallas, Frank Healy, CBS 58 News.